In this third short clip of five about our Octagon Eco Incubators, uh, we'll give you the information you need about getting the right humidity in your Octagon Ecos. So we'll bring the camera in and look more closely at the base of the Octagon. What you'll notice is that there are two channels in the Octagon 20 Eco. In a second, I'll show you the Octagon 40 EK, and you'll see there are four channels. To get the right humidity for the first 19 days, you fill only one side of the incubator with water. So let's demonstrate that. Now, because the base is going to need rotating, you should only fill the channel two thirds full. You fill it, if you fill it completely full, the water will spill over into the rest of the base. So we're going to fill that two thirds full. Now notice, if I then rotate this this uh, base manually, and it'd be the same as if it was on the um, if it was on the auto turn cradle, the water doesn't spill over. Even if it did, it wouldn't be the end of the world because there's there's four holes here where the water can drain out of. It'll just spill out onto whatever your base is sitting on. So. That's how we fill the, the base. We'll just briefly show you the uh, Octagon 40. I've pre-filled pre -filled this one and spilled the water now. Um, so the Octagon 40, similar thing. So um, two sets of channels this time because it's double the size. We fill one side for the first 19 days. Okay. Let's get a look back. Okay. Right. So there we go. First 19 days, one side is filled. We set the ventilation for the first 19 days to half open if it is full of eggs and hopefully you can see that ventilation vent here so half open if it's if it's uh, if it's full of eggs but we can reduce the level of ventilation slightly if there are fewer eggs in there okay on day 19 for hen eggs at least which is two days before hatching, you fill both channels to increase humidity. But when we have filled both channels, we close humidity down, the, the vent down to a th third open, no less than a third open. So it must remain about a third open to maintain some level of ventilation. We need the increased humidity in the last two days before hatching to prevent the membranes drying and hardening before chicks fully emerge from the egg. Uh, and they do continue to need some ventilation at that point. So let's get right back. So check and top up the water level every three days. And with these guidelines, for humidity, which are very simple, but very effective, you'll achieve an average of 40 to 50% relative humidity, which is required for hen eggs during incubation, and the 65% relative humidity required during hatching. The instructions in your box give more detailed information on humidity and how you can control it for optimal results by plotting something called a weight loss chart. So if you want more information on that, go back and have a look at the instructions. With humidity set up, ready for the eggs, in the next clip, we'll look at turning and setting the eggs in the incubator.